teachers play a crucial role in society as they prepare the younger generation to face the future with courage and knowledge. A teacher can be a best friend, a third parent, an inspiration, a role model, and a well-wisher for the students and guide them on the right path to succeed in life. Teachers evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of their students and guide them to follow the best practices. They not only bring out the best in the students, but also teach them valuable life skills like communication, organization, and presentation. One of the best examples of this comes from a life of a blind girl whose life was transformed by her teachers. Our story starts on the, the 27th of June, 1880, in Tuscumbia, Alabama. The daughter of Arthur and Catherine, the girl the girl was a very eager, energetic, and self-asserting child. When the girl was around one and a half years old, she became very sick. She had a high fever and a bad headache for several days. The doctors were not able to point out the cause of the mysterious illness she was suffering from. Although she survived, she lost both her eyesight and her hearing. The whole world to her was dark and absolutely soundless. The girl tried to communicate with the people around her. She had special motions she would use to indicate that she wanted her mom or her dad. However, she would also get frustrated. <coughs> she realized that she was different and it was extremely difficult to let others know what she needed. She would sometimes hit and kick other people in anger. Soon her parents realized that she needed some special help. A teacher by the name of Anne Sullivan came to work with the girl as a helper and a companion. began to teach her words. She would press the letters of the words into the girl's hand. For example, she would put a doll in one of her hand and press the letters of the word D O L L into the other hand. 
The girl still didn't understand what the ant said had meaning. Then one day, ant put the girl's ant into the water. Then she spelled out the water W A T E R into the girl's hand. Something clicked and she finally understood what Anne was doing. An entirely new world opened up for the child. She learned many words that day. Next, Anne taught her how to read. And soon she would read entire books in Braille. Imagine trying to learn how to read if you couldn't see. It's truly amazing. Now she wanted to learn how to talk. A teacher, the girl learned how to talk from Sarah Fuller. She was a teacher for the deaf. By resting her hands on Sarah's lips, she learned how to feel sound vibrations and how the lips moved to make sounds. She started off learning a few letters and sounds. Then she advanced to words. And finally, sentences. During co at the age of 16, with the help of Sarah, She attended the Radcliffe College for Women. During college, during college, she began to write about her experiences of being deaf and blind. She wrote multiple articles for a magazine and the articles were later published into an inspirational book called The Story of My Life. After a few years, she also published another book by the name The World I Live In. As she grew up, she wanted to help and inspire people like her and give them hope to achieve great things in life. This inspirational story is the story of Helen Keller, the American author and disability rights advocate. Helen Keller's teachers, Anne Sullivan and Sarah Fuller, taught her that with hard work and determination, everything is possible. They taught Helen Keller, never give up or lose hope, no matter who or what discouraged you in life? Helen Keller's life remains 
an example of, a, of the impact a teacher can have on a student's life. Now I will introduce who are participated in the skit. Sa Ruthi Prejwala as Helen Keller. Ashrit as daughter. Sudha Roshni as mother. Priyanth as father. Bhavya Saisri as Aunt Sullivan. Kirtana as Sarah Fuller. 